know what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rip the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, will not be the Super WBA champion. The WBA voted that Pacquiao will remain champion in recess and Usyk will retain his title. Let's talk about it. That subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. Appreciate the love and support. And he also removed John Pascal's champion and suspended him for six months as he popped out a few months ago. Um, am I surprised? No. No, 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 no. Um, at some point, these sanction bill bodies going to have some dignity. If you make somebody email champion, how can you take it out before they defend the title? Pacquiao hadn't fought since, um, what was that, July 2019? So you're talking about, we through the pandemic, it's two years. So he didn't tune up in a bubble, which he, maybe he tuned up in a bubble, he keep his belt. Could have tuned up versus the 15th guy in the, WB, the WBA uh, ranking, and that's Sandy Masato. Could have tuned up versus him and would have kept your title. So Pacquiao, you know, dragging his feet on coming back. He should have fought. If he would have came back at the end of 2019, he would have kept his belt. In my opinion, they should take that ring belt back now that Pacquiao don't bring nothing to the table. Why Pacquiao, uh, two, three, two or three in the division, he don't bring a belt in the, in the, in the uh, he don't bring a belt, okay? <clears throat> so, I mean, they said uh, Jake Donovan wrote it, or Dennis Ugas was denied a chance to contend for two or more world to weight belts, but will at least retain his own status ahead of his next fight. So I'm reading an article from Boxing Scene. Boxing has learned that the ruling handed down by the World Boxing Association, WBA, will allow the Miami Ugas to remain in place as a sanctioned belt body super title as the decision was returned on Friday in response to a formal appeal filed by, filed by former A-Division champion Manny Pacquiao, who sought to have his title status reinstated after being downgraded to champion of recess earlier this year due to inactivity. ESPN Devorte Salvador Chava Rodriguez first reported the development. The Philippines Pacquiao 62 and 7 to draws and 39 big ones still move forward with his August 21st Fox pay per view headliner versus IBF WBC welterweight titleist Earl Spence 27 and 0. No draws, 21 big ones at the T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. However, the battle will remain. A unified title fight rather than a three belt unification ball sought by the full time senator ring icon Pacquiao filed a request for reinstatement with the WBA this past May. Shortly after the bout with Spence was formally announced, news of the World to Way Super Fight came as a pleasant surprise to many in the industry as Pacquiao has not fought since the 12 round of your mice maker, sorry, 12 round win over then unbeaten Keith Thurman. In July 2019, the consolidation of the clash at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It was also a devastating blow to Ugas, the 34-year-old Cuban who, for the better part of the year, uh, was the leading candidate to face Earl Spence in what would have been a WBC, WBA, IBF unification bout following the upgrade from the WBA world to super champ this past January. The move came four months after Ugas claimed the will earn uh, thought stress strangely score a split decision over Angel Ramo, excuse me, in Los, uh, last September in Los Angeles. It also came to the expense of Pacquiao, who hadn't fought in 18 months to the point of failed to notify the WBA to confirm plans for his next defense. The legendary Filipino Southpaw still keeps the fight with Spence, though now in a bid to become a five-time world welterweight titleist rather than attempting his first defense of his reign of his, four, of his fourth reign. The chain of events uh, also saw Jamal James advance to from WBA entering the world title list. The Minneapolis native inherited a mandatory title defense, although his next fight remains unclear. Russia's Razuma but the better move. 13-0-10 big ones to steal all the title shot while Lutheranians Astionis 13-9, 13-0 with nine big ones. Is currently the number one contender following the 12-round unanimous decision win over Thomas DeLorme this past April 10th. Okay. 
Rumors have swirled around about a potential WBA interim fight between Venezuela's Graville Mastery, whatever, 3 0 with 3 knockouts. And Las Vegas uh, Canadian uh, contender Cody Crowley, 19 0 19. Kale Simmons has suggested that Ugas could land on the Pacquiao Spence undercard versus former titleist Andre Berto, who has a fought since 2018. Berto himself has publicly denied such rumors, while Ugas has not commented. You know what I'm saying? So. Berto said they ain't true, but Berto, they said Berto popped up in the WBA rankings at number 10. Yeah, he's, yep, at number 10, so if Berto said it ain't true, okay, we got to believe him, I guess. But um, you got to remember, too, uh, with all this, you know, Pacquiao could have fought. And Ugas could have be fighting Earl Spence had, had he not asked for, like, 50-50. I think he asked for crazy shit, like, 50-50. So, you know, and I guess if it's your, if your, if your first title defense, you're going to want the bag, okay? You know, um... If I don't get a chance to get a title defense, then, you know, I, I'm going to want the bag. I get what he's saying. So, but the actual Earl Spence 50-50, Earl Spence with his great fanboys and fangirls, that's he crazy. But by him not taking 50-50, they allow Pacquiao to manipulate his way on into the fight. And then people forget Pacquiao was about to fight Ryan Garcia. That's what got him stripped. When they were talking about fighting the catchway Ryan Garcia, fighting Kyron Garcia to catchway to 140, something like that. That's what got that fool stripped. People forget that. That's what got him stripped. And then uh, Ryan Garcia opened his mouth too soon, and they called the fight off. That's what happened. Shit. Had Ryan Garcia never opened his mouth, and, and things fell apart, Pacquiao probably still have his belt. That was one of the reasons. The main reason they probably stripped him. He's probably trying, he's trying to find everybody but uh, a formidable opponent. You know? That's on him. But that, that was one of the reasons one of the reasons they stripped him. When Ryan opened his mouth, he took well, he helped take away Pacquiao belt, get Pacquiao belt took him away. You know, he's trying to fight Mikey, and then he got to Crawford, and it just got to the point where it was inconvenient. That Mikey thing was just really what was started to strip. Probably got him stripped. I mean that Ryan thing that was really got him stripped. So I mean, he would have fought Terrence Crawford out of Remember he both fight Terrence Crawford. People were saying that uh, you know, Crawford fighting the old man, Pacquiao washed up. Crawford gonna beat Pacquiao and this, that, and the third. Then when Earl Spence fought him, it was they put him on the pedestal. If you know, if you if you ain't if you ain't never if you don't really notice the the cock riding and boxing, there you go right there. You got people saying what well, Bud deserved, what he what he and come on man. Most of these dudes ain't come on, never put on no gloves, don't know shit about boxing. Been watching boxing Earl. Man, I wish Earl Spence never came in the sport. We wouldn't even have this problem. This is too much of this problem. He just had a, a and then people said well, we got a social media press. Like he didn't really have a big social media press, but I get what people are saying. But um, I mean it is what it is. It's something that we got to deal with as uh, something we got to deal with as you know as traditional hardcore boxing fans. But I mean it is what it is. But um, but had Ryan Garcia never opened his fucking mouth, we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> Heck yeah, would be stripped for. Pacquiao still hold his title there. And Pacquiao got in the ring and, and fought the 15th best, well, at least the 15th best WBA guy. Got somebody uh, ranked in there. We wouldn't be having this conversation. So, for the most part, man, Pacquiao fought. You know, it's Pacquiao for us. So, I mean, we can continue to have discussion, but had Pacquiao stayed active, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We wouldn't be having this conversation. But a lot, a lot, a lot uh, led up to this. Not just Pacquiao and his Ryan Garcia and Pacquiao this down the third, but also Ugas, you know, asking for a huge split from Earl Spence. Remember when people were saying, when the Ugas and Earl Spence fight going to be announced? When the Ugas and Earl Spence fight going to be announced? Blame Ugas. Now, Ugas just, you know, took a, a respectable split. And I can't tell him, tell him what to take and not to take. I'm not telling him that. But had he took the split that he told him to take, I mean, was willing to give him. This fight would have already happened. Remember this fight was supposed to happen, well, about to happen soon. It was supposed to be the July, well, the weekend, the July fifth, or the week after the July fifth. But then again, Conor McGregor occupied that fight, so this fight would have been even the last week, or it'd been the week after this, or next week. So, I mean, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, we getting a better fight. Ugas had no chance versus Earl Spence. No matter how much people like Ugas, he had no chance. Pacquiao got a little bit of chance. So to me, it's an upgrade of a fight. But um, at the same time, it was a, a lot of events that led up to this. But Ryan and Ryan and Ryan Pacquiao about to trying to fight Ryan was the was the um was the biggest sticker point at the end. Ugas not wanting to take the respectable split or whatever they want to take versus Earl Spence. That was another huge sticker point. But at the end of the day, 
Um, the ring should take their belt back. This is a two belt unification. How can you call Pacquiao one of three two best guys in the division? He don't have a belt. You know, no matter if I say one, three, two, whatever, but he don't have a belt. Ugas got a belt. Crawford got a belt. So how can you say uh, a dude that bring no belt to the title? How is this the best fight in the division? Like I said before, it's a joke. It's my opinion. It's a joke. They should take their lineal belt back. But it really ain't even a lineal belt no more. Since Delahoy got a, it's got a conflict of interest having a promotional company, you know, and then own the ring. It's a joke. So it is what it is. They should take the lineal belt up off of them. And then, you know, when all four belts is on the line or whatever you want to say, him and Crawford fight, then you can put the belt on the line. But at least we should be getting Ugas and Crawford. But Al I'm not going to let that happen. They already negotiated. And Ugas asked for a crazy amount of money, too. Where Al had Ugas asked for a crazy amount of money. But, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All our social media links in the description. Twitter's the fastest way. Then Facebook, then Instagram. All my links there. Facebook group link there as well, too. Want to make a financial donation. Cash app, CJ Good 313. That's the description. PayPal link there as well, too. That's where the donate, share, share the video. One time for the one time. Good for the sports TV. Let me know what's in the comment section. Peace.